Good morning. So yesterday I talked about happiness. Uh, same theme today. Uh, first about trannies. Some trannies apparently are not happy because they have a hard time finding a partner. See, and then I saw this thing. Straight men should, must date a tranny to fight hate. <laughs> right. yeah, it's true, they are talking about this. Uh, I read an article and it says this, a 2018 study showed that only 1.8% of straight women and 3.3% of straight men would date a tranny. <laughs> This is transphobia, that's what they say. It is transphobia, apparently. Now, I used to date a lot of women. Before I met Maria, nine years ago, I dated lots of women. I think 35 women in two years or something. And uh, I was interested in women. <laughs> so I dated only women. <laughs> now, if they were guys, just imagine, I wouldn't be interested, you know. I'm not attracted to it. <laughs> That's how it works. I'm attracted to women, you know. And even if you removed your thing between your legs, it makes it even worse, I would say, you know. Because, of course, you're attracted to, you're physically attracted to women, I am. But also the mind of a woman, you know. That's what I'm attracted to. And uh, so if you removed that thing, <laughs> well, it doesn't make it better. It makes it even worse, I would say. I mean, what's the matter with you? So I'm sorry, I'm transphobic then. I'm fine with this, you know. Another thing about happiness is this story. It's about the needle. It, this is bad stuff. Wow. So it's about a lady, Jennifer Ormiston Novak. And there are three stories here. The first one is from the 21st of May 2021. And she's posting on social media. And she's got that banner, you know, I took the needle. Hooray. So, 21st of May 2021, she, write, she writes this. I got my second dose, praying it all goes smoothly. Have some big days ahead of me at work. So, that's the first one. And then the second one is from January, sorry, December. That's right, December 2021, same year. And she writes this. I got got our boosters today, well, a family maybe, got our boosters today, arms are hurting, feeling feverish and super tired. I thought we wouldn't have side effects. How long will this last? Right. And then the last one is from this year, this month, now, January 2024. This is awful. So she writes this. Two amputations of my leg. First one below my knee, second one above my knee. Wow. What a price some of these pay people are paying. It's, I don't know. I feel awkward about this stuff. Finally, the stuff that I was talking about yesterday. You know, how some people, they can't be happy about good things happening, like Tucker Carlson in Canada. And they can't be happy about it because they think that he's out there to get them, you know. So they are totally paranoid and they are, think everybody's out to get them. You know, at least Tucker Carlson is. You know, he's one of them, you know. So these people can't be happy. That was my theory. And then I read this comment yesterday on BitChute. Listen to this. Uh, it's a comment from Dorje Ling. Right? Define happiness before asking such a question. 
And then he said, Taku Carlson is controlled opposition. Oh. Define it. Yeah, I have to tell you what happiness is. Oh. You see the problem here? I don't think you do. I have to I need to tell you what it is. No. Oh. Before I can ask a question whether you're happy or not. Do you know how to be happy? That was my question. Define happiness before making such a, such a question. You say, wow, I don't know what to say. Well, you proved my point. All right. Be good.